I'm Nan Cohen, former president of Wellesley and Duke, and this year I'm a visitor at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton. I started because John Chubb asked us to say something about the one or two major challenges that higher education confronts, particularly as they're relevant to independent schools. Of course, that's a huge request because there are quite a few challenges, so I tried to bundle a few, and I talked about two. And I was specifically focusing on residential college education, four-year undergraduate life, recognizing that there are many different types, and several of my colleagues talked about others. But that's what I know best. And for that form of education, which I'm very bullish about, although there are a lot of folks who say it's, you know, it's a, a dinosaur destined to decay, I don't believe it for a moment. I think it has a great many strengths as a form of education. My main concern would be making it sure that it's available to lots of people. So the first challenge that I talked about was specifically, as I put it, I think higher education has an unsustainable business model. We cannot continue to have our prices go up and up and up, even though our costs are pushing them up. I'm well aware of that. But we have to find some way to get the costs under control. Faculty salaries in some schools are still a problem, but in some of the more well-known schools, they're going through the roof for people in certain disciplines. Facilities are aging and need repair. New facilities must be built. And we have to pay for all the technologies that make our education strong. And also, skilled administrators command high prices. So there's a lot of pressures. And we need to find a way to keep the costs down. Otherwise, we will price ourselves out of the market of people we want to appeal to. Even though financial aid is a large part of the answer to the question, only very wealthy schools can give enough financial aid to make a real difference. And even for those schools, the sticker price scares people away. So we can't sustain this business model. I know I've been saying this for decades and so far we've sustained it, but someday it's going to crash. The second challenge that I talked about was a sense of uncertainty about our basic purpose today. What are we all about? Because there's so many ways of talking about what college ought to do. People sometimes come to college to prepare for a career, to get networking, to make more money when they graduate, to enjoy the social life or the residential community, sports. Those are all reasons that have been compelling, but they're not the fundamental reason. And in order to answer the question best, from my perspective, I cited one of my predecessors as president of Wellesley way back in the 19th century, Alice Freeman Palmer. It was at a time when every, everybody was having to get used to the idea of higher education for women, and so she was often asked, well, why should they go to college? Why do we go to college? And her answer was this, we go to college to know, assured that knowledge is sweet and powerful, that it emancipates the mind and makes us citizens of the world. And in my opening remarks, I sort of unpacked that statement because each of those phrases is important. Sweet knowledge, the, the ways in which learning things brings rewards after hard work. Powerful, we know how much difference knowledge makes in this knowledge world. Um, emancipates the mind, freeing us from our parochialism, opening our eyes to what our own values are and how they can best be defended and why other people have different ones. And finally, citizens of the world, not only our sort of global perspectives, which are important, but also feeling close to other people and not focused only on our narrow personal advancement. And I said in closing, we on the higher ed campuses have the duty to create the kind of education that allows students to experience such an inspiring opportunity. And you in the preparatory schools in general have the obligation to prepare the students to take advantage of this and make them ready for it. And many of you do a very good job at that.